hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Mercy art so today is a saturday and as usual saturdays and sundays are days for relaxation so it's in the evening right now right about uh, six uh, no it's 5 30 so i'm going to take a drive um from bridges right now i'm already at bridges from bridges all the way to town so i hope you join me on this drive let's just relax because we can't you are supposed to relax So right now I'm on the Regis Drive as I told you earlier on. Um, I'm trying to connect to Kiambu Road. Uh, I didn't want to use Thicker Road because I think I've filmed a lot of um, videos on Thicker Road. It might be boring. So just on my left you've seen a, a signpost. That's um, Regis Mall. If you've been to this area that's the entry point. Uh, th there are usually two entry points. We have this one and then uh, the other one is right uh, on the highway uh, for the Kiambu Road. So now I'm approaching Kiambu Road. You can see the cars which are going on the right side are going towards Kiambu Town. Then going towards the left side, uh, technically you're going to town. Well, Nairobi. So now um, I'll just be taking this turn. I'll wait a little bit. Uh, there's a car which is coming. I just wanted to purse and then I can join in. Okay, right there. So on my left side, you may not be able to see, but then we have the Regis Mall. Uh, then on the right side we have a very new mall that came up. It's called Seattle Mall. Well, it's written Sierra City, but it's still a mall anyway. So uh, weirdly, ever since Seattle Mall came up, I can't remember the last time I went to Ridgeway Mall. It's as if the place is dead to me. <laughs> well, I don't know why because um, I, I prefer Seattle Mall nowadays as opposed to Ridgeway. So I'm just driving uh, through Kimbu Road. Yeah. By the way, there is something I've noticed about Nairobi. There are so many malls which are sprouting. There are so many malls mushrooming around. But shock on you, each and every time each mall is opened, the place is usually packed to the brim with Kenyans. So my question is, are Kenyans uh, heavy spenders? Because, you know, you can find a place maybe within a vicinity of, let's say, 10, not 10, 10 kilometers is so much. Let's give it um, 2 kilometers. You find there are more than 3 malls and on each mall, every Kenyan is there. I'll give you an example. Look at where Garden City Mall is. Garden City Mall is right opposite Mountain Mall. And immediately after that, you have the TRM, that's the Picard Mall. And trust me, when you walk in there, either on a Saturday or Sunday, or even during the week, the place is usually full. And I'm talking about busy extremely busy so i don't know maybe kenyans we spend so much <laughs> well i'm one of those people but yeah you, you give me your views about it what, what do you think uh, is happening in nairobi because i've just realized that i don't know if you've noticed or i'm exaggerating well share your views on the comment section well still on campbell road on my left side is the aar hospital it's quite massive uh, so we're just heading there. Then we have uh, this route here on the left side. If you want to go to Mudaiga North, is it the one? Yeah. When you want to go to Mudaiga North, you can use that and you can traverse across all the way to Tika Road if you want to join on the other section. So something interesting about Kembu Road is that um, we are cutting across and on the, on the right side is actually Karura Forest. And I think uh, on the right side we have one of the entry points to the Karura Forest. If you want to cycle, if you want to check out some waterfalls or just tour around and appreciate nature, this is the place to be. And also, um, Kembu Road is very scenic. Let me say it's just this kind of roads you drive through and you feel as though you're having a soothing effect, you know. I don't know if it's just me or I'm exaggerating, but I think our country is really, really beautiful. Well, it's it's very attractive to drive on a Saturday evening because no one is in a hurry. There no uh, the cars are not so many. But try a Monday morning on this road. Trust me, you'll hurt yourself. Sometimes when I'm driving uh, in early in the morning on this road, 
the cars are usually so many and then the crazy bus drivers are just overlapping all over. Sometimes I usually wish I could just leave the car on the road, go and come back for it. You see. It's so beautiful. Especially during the evenings because there's the sun is the sunset which makes the whole place look so scenic. Kenya is one beautiful country by the way, you know, having a capital whereby it's full of nature, forest, we even have a national park in the middle of the city, city under the sun, trust me. Okay. So right here is the DCI, the Directorate of uh, Criminal Investigations Headquarters. If you want your police clearance certificate, certificate of good conduct that is, uh, you can get it from there. So still on Campbell Road. Cutting in between the Karura Forest. You can see forest is really nice. I think I should take you on a tour there. So for those Kenyans who are not in the country, uh, this is just a chance for you to remind you of how beautiful your country is. I'm sure some of you miss home. I was chatting to a friend and uh, she was telling me that she was in Kenya last, actually it was 15 years ago, 15 years ago, 15 that's a, that's actually a kid who is in form two. <laughs> a kid was born, went to school, finished primary, went to high school, right now in form two, and you've never... <laughs> into your country trust me the place has changed and i think most of you when you come back after 10 15 years you may need a tour guide to take you around you trust me you'll get lost i'm not exaggerating by the way if you've been away for 15 years plus call me i can give you some very good services to around So just approaching Pangani. Approaching Pangani. And we have the sunset right there. Magnificent. Okay, I need to slow down here. I think this place is a black spot because uh, we have so many cars that are coming from behind at a very 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 high speed not so safe okay so that's a uh, pangani so Notice you have so many posters uh, for the political campaigns. Uh, we are having our elections on 9th. Kenya is going to vote. The national elections, that is. So I'm going to use uh, Forest Road. It used to be called Forest Road right now. It was renamed to Professor Wangari Mathai. I think uh, you all know her, the famous Nobel Peace Prize winner. for these guys sometimes they don't even care they just move onto the road without necessarily paying attention to other motorists uh, so just to be on the safe side i like you know letting them hey watch out 
So, um, still on Forest Road, the Professor Wangari Matai Road. I'm approaching Parklands. Uh, so, in case you want to go to Limuru Road, you take that uh, left exit right there. Take the left exit. Going towards that direction, so we have the sunset. It's right in front of us. Uh, it's a bit glary. You know? I don't know if it's uh, good enough, but it's giving me a very nice skyline. You can see the skyline right there. Okay. So yes. Trust me. Why can't they just put a bump? I mean, I almost feel like these rumble strips usually tamper with the car. Whoever came up with the rumble strips, I don't know, maybe you're high on something. Just put a bump. I mean, Right below there is the National Museum, the Nairobi National Museum. If you've never been here, you can pay a visit or it can be your eyes. You can tour the place on your behalf. So we have so many buildings which are coming up. I think the real estate has really, really improved in Kenya. And the more buildings are coming up, the more expensive it is. I mean, it doesn't make sense. I thought the more structures that are coming up should make the rent and uh, you know the sale prices go down i don't know someone just kind of explained to me i don't seem to understand so we're still heading to town okay i'm going to use the university way Underneath the expressway, my favorite expressway. There was a time I did a video on this. If you've not watched it, just check it out. The Nairobi Expressway. Immediately, it was launched by the president. And uh, there has been a big buzz about the uh, expressway. So many accidents have been occurring. People over speeding. So I hope something can be done. Well, Kenyans, I mean, we should try our best to. Be safe, you know. Okay, so this is the expressway underneath. It looks beautiful. Very nice uh, little flowers that have been planted. Okay, so I'm approaching the roundabout heading to the university way. So this is the university way. Okay. For those guys who studied at the University of Nairobi, right here on the left is the entry to the University of Nairobi, UON. Uh, on the side, we have, uh, I just passed it to the Anniversary Towers, ETC. For those people who are students in the university, you know the place because of the health offices, that's where their headquarters are. I'm heading towards. Um, the globe roundabout so that I take a turn and join university no I join Moya, Moya Avenue technically I'm going that's the Moya Avenue which I'm coming to join but then that means I have to go all the way down to the globe roundabout this place usually has lots of traffic but then being a Saturday looks good okay I'm a bit uh, skeptical <laughs> have it I'll, I'll just stop from here a bit busy so 
um, this is the globe roundabout. It's quite busy, but not as busy as during the weekdays. Today is on uh, Saturday, so the place is a bit whew, empty. <laughs> this is empty. When you're on European, trust me, this is empty. In most cases, you cannot uh, afford to even do such a video during the week because the traffic, you can stay on one spot for almost 30 minutes. And I'm not exaggerating about this, by the way. So I had to do this video on a Saturday evening because even during the day, sometimes the place gets very, very busy. That's uh, Kirinyaga Road. If you really are looking for spare parts and things for the cars, it's one of the places you get very nice deals, very good stuff. But at the same time, you can easily be conned. So you must always uh, have someone who know the place. Or sometimes you can buy a fake, you know. So I'm um, turning on the Globe Roundabout so that I join Moy Avenue. That's the place I stopped uh, recording from because I had to get into the, round the roundabout. And apparently... The phone was not steady on the holder, so I had to fix it a little bit. So I'm joining the Moy Avenue. Okay, so let's go. Moy Avenue. So I'll be looking for parking somewhere on my avenue so that i can be able to walk so i'll be taking another walk all the way to heli selassie there is a parcel i'm expecting from easy coach funny enough as a, as a kenyan i trust uh, <laughs> the courier serv services for easy coach and um what's this guardian angel I trust that more than the poster because it takes a short time to receive your package or anything that you're receiving from someone. I don't know who still uses the poster. How long does it take if someone wants to send you a parcel, let's say from Mombasa, Kampala, I don't know. Are the posters still operational? I mean, actively operational because uh, most Kenyans, I think, are kind of giving up on that. So right here, I am in the CBD, uh, just slightly busy, not so much. Kenya has really changed now, there's a green light so I have to go. Now why is this guy stopping? Let's go, Ban. There's a police officer there. Uh, the, it's a bit slow. There's um, some traffic right here. So I'm um, on Moy Avenue. It's a bit slow. So technically during the week uh, most of the roads are usually like this I mean so for me I avoid uh, the CBD as much as I can you know if I have to be here during the week trust me I'll rather use an Uber or Bolt okay we have the NQ, NKU towers right there I got some parking on my avenue. Okay, move now. So right there is the National Archives. I think it's one of the 
landmarks for the CBD. If you're new in Nairobi, that's the place where most people tell you to meet them. There is the National Archives and the famous ambassador. So if if you are new, this is one place that always is a, a landmark. So once once you get here, if you just want to remember the CBD, just mark the National Archives, Ambassador, Afia House, Hilton. Which other place? Well. I think I'll stop the recording from here because um, the place is... It's not having lots of uh, movement because of the traffic. It's quite busy for a Saturday. It's quite busy for a Saturday. Just allow these guys to pass. Yeah, I have to wait. It's funny how it's red, and there's a guy behind me hooting. Oh my god. Did people go to driving school? Still on Moy Avenue. I'll have to go and take um, a turn so that I join Kimathi Street. So I need to look for parking. Okay, so I'll take a turn here. It's I feel so weird taking a turn and it's red, and then there is a the police guy who is telling me to go. I mean, it's just so confusing. We have the <laughs> lights, which are turning red. An officer is telling me to move. <sighs> so do I obey the lights or do I obey <laughs> the police officer? But technically, I think it's a rule uh, most Kenyans uh, usually know. If the lights are there and we have an officer, you actually obey the officer. You, you ignore the lights. <laughs> It's a funny way of having things, you know. I think most of us uh, Kenyans, when you go to other countries, will be arrested because uh, some of these rules just take them for granted, you know. So I've taken a turn. Uh, guys, trying to look for parking taking a turn so that I join Kimathi, Kimathi Street. Uh, we have uh, Kimathi, the statue of Kimathi right there. So, this is Kimathi Street. Uh, that's right in front of me is the National Media Group. This guy is not even looking. How do you cross the road and you're <laughs> looking behind? <laughs> Some people can be clowns. How do you cross the road and you're looking behind? <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm laughing because it's not funny. Now we don't have traffic lights here. So I'll have to use my natural estimation on when to cross. Which is weird. Trust me. No lights, no offices, just cars crossing. So technically, see, the guys are crossing and they're taking their sweet time. Okay, so I'll be looking for parking on the side. I like coming this side because there is usually some small young boys who sometimes they, I give them something small then they kind of just uh, watch out for the car in case uh, anyone wants to pluck the side mirrors etc 
Okay, so he's signaling me. Maybe I think. Who are Sana packing here? Nasa pack wapi? Suta njenga apa ivingi. Asitaki nataka i njengi ne. I don't like flash packing. Kwa chini packa pambele. Okay, so I guess I got some packing here, and uh, yeah. So I'll give him something small, like maybe just. Okay, okay, okay. Upon sawa? Check, but you see one chapter. Sawa, sawa, ina shida. Enta kuachia sa. Like you see, ama uta utaenda. Sangalia gari. Sawa. Okay.